This looks so nice. Absolutely beautiful. Nice, super nice. Six cylinder, three liter AMG engine. Hello guys and welcome back here again on Mr. Ben's YouTube channel. Today featuring this, the all new GLE 53 AMG. But not a normal one, as most of you guys already see, this is a coupe. The new GLE 53 AMG coupe model. Very beautiful. A few weeks ago we've had the opportunity to drive the normal GLE 400 coupe and you guys really loved it. So here comes the 53 coupe. At this point, thank you very much again to Mercedes-Benz for sending us these cars while Corona times. Very nice. So in this video, I will be showing you all the exterior features. Then we will get inside and I'm going to show you the whole interior details. Afterwards, we will be doing a few sound checks for you, comparing the sound from Comfort, Sport and Sport Plus. And at the end, we will finish it all off with a resume. So let's talk about the GLE 53 Coupe in specific. This car was presented in 2019 at the IAA Motor Show in Frankfurt and is now here almost one year later in Düsseldorf. Um, this car is featuring a six cylinder, three liter AMG engine, which produces 435 brake horsepower in addition with the starter generator. Uh, it does zero to 100 in around uh, 5.3 seconds and uh, push the car to 520 newton meter which is just breathtaking we'll be demonstrating you the performance of that beast in a separate video we will be doing an autobahn run some normal sporty drives um, so you can hear the sound etc some race starts for you etc so stay tuned subscribe to this channel so you don't miss that so let's uh, talk about this car in specific. Here we have the very nice and beautiful elegant spec. Um, brilliant blue exterior paint. No night package as you can already see from the front. We have the chrome parts here, no night package. But it looks so nice in addition with these beautiful AMG multi-spoke wheels. So let's start with the walk around starting with the front here. Here we have the beautiful new GLE 53 AMG front. How do you guys like it? As you all know, the GLE 53 SUV and Coupe front is basically the same. So for all of you asking, there is no difference between the Coupe and SUV front. Uh, it's just in the rear and the wheelbase, uh, etc. But uh, more of that soon. So let's start with the headlights here with the beautiful GLE specific multi-beam headlights with uh, the two LED stripes, uh, the SUV E-Class kind of really looking nice. Uh, multi-beam is stock on the new GLE and looks very nice. There is no halogen option or else. So let's continue here with the beautiful Mercedes-Benz star in black. And you can already see those power domes on the bonnet, giving this car an even more sportier touch. Just look at this, really love that. In addition with that beautiful updated front grille. How do you like this? We have 12 vertical stripes here, uh, also known as the AMG Panamericana design front grille. And uh, this is basically the same we also have on the 63 model. So now a question to all of you guys. Would you rather like to see a different uh, grille on the 53 or the same one on the 53 as well as on the 63? So please comment down below just a 53 specific grill extra for the 53 models or should they both 53 and 63 share the same grill? What do you think? Just comment down below. So let's continue with the walk around and this big star. We have the front 3D Mercedes star emblem, which is huge, guys. This is huge. We have um, this cover here. Behind that, we have assistant packages such as the Distronic or Els Hayden, as well as this front camera here then we have the front bumper as you can already see beautiful chrome brush chrome details here beautiful trim uh, also we have the brilliant blue exterior paint on the bumper as well brush chrome here the front skirt is also finished in brush chrome with the beautiful suv essentials here which i really love then we have these intakes 
unfortunately these are fake just plastic covers but here the upper part is basically real you can see that there's a filter we have an airflow through here which is for cooling etc then we have the airflow through there also for cooling and if we continue we can see the right hand side basically the left hand side we have a plastic cover here which i really don't like the big difference between the 53 and 63 in the front is that the 63 has an airflow and uh, gaps between and no plastic covers at all in the front just a few as i can remember so let's continue with this side finishing with the front showing you the silhouette of this beautiful jelly coupe how do you like this guys beautiful i really love it you know what especially the silhouette line which is abruptly ending in the rear which makes this coupe so sporty and beautiful in the design so just comment down below how you like the side view of this GLE coupe oh hell no so let's continue with the rims here we have beautiful amg multi-spoke rims 22 inch finished in silver which look absolutely beautiful in addition without the night package chrome parts all over the car so as you can see beautiful multi-spoke wheels and we have the mercedes center star here center lock amg brake calipers finished in gray and the best tires you can get for an amg the michelin pilot sport 4s which are really huge. Let me show you the size of that 285 40 ZR22. The rear ones are even bigger, I'm telling you, but show you that later on. Then we have the Turbofomatic badge here. Something I also really love is the red detail here on the plus. Really love that. And something I really don't like from the exterior point of view is the side mirror. Here we have some plastic covers here on the downside down part on the sides etc which really don't fit on this beautiful class and basically expensive amg i wish these were also finished in exterior paint but something i have to acknowledge the side fenders of the GLE predecessor coupe were finished in plastic and now finally the side fenders are finished in exterior paint as well on the non-amg models you have these come in with the amg line if you don't have the amg line you still have the side fenders here in plastic but if you have the amg line and on the amgs the side fenders will also be an exterior paint which i really love finally so let's continue with the sides here you can see the frames are finished in chrome since we have no night package but the rear window is kind of dimmed and uh, tinted which i really don't understand uh, never mind uh, as you can already see here we have um, door handles door handles are in chrome uh, if you have the night package option they are still in chrome uh, door handles are always in chrome and mercedes then we have the rear wheels here also 22 inches amg brake calipers they're also in gray then we have the michelin pilot sport 4s but these ones are 325 35 22 which are much bigger and give this car an even sportier look with the bigger tires really love that especially when we now move to the rear so here we have the beautiful GLE coupe rear how do you guys like it i really love it back then i was not a big fan honestly when i saw the first press pictures but now seeing it in full flash, especially with these beautiful exhaust tips, I really started to like it. So let's talk about the new and updated taillights here on this GLE Coupe. As you can already see, uh, back then the taillights were a little bit bigger and more muscular, but now they are a little bit sharper now, which makes this car even sportier than ever. As you can see, slick LEDs here on the tail lights, really beautiful uh, and fitting nice on this GLE Coupe. Then we have the AMG badge here, the Mercedes Chrome Star and the GLE 53 badge, as well as a beautiful rear spoiler here, finished in exterior paint as well, which gives this car a really nice and sporty touch. So let's finish your rear off with the rear diffuser here we have the rear diffuser which 
is a negative point again but you have to see two sides on that one uh, first of all this is finished in plastic my point is uh, why is there plastic on like this car starts at 93,000 euros in Germany this car is worth more than 100,000 euros why would you put plastic parts on it like Mercedes why but uh, Mercedes will say hey guys this is an SUV we give this GLE Coupe a more SUV characteristic but um, yes what would you like to have here would you like to have this in a piano black in exterior paint for example or would you like to keep that in plastic comment down below really curious how you think about that uh, because I'm not a big fan of the plastic so let's continue with the exhaust tips here we have two round on the left and on the right side as we have the performance exhaust on this car with the beautiful AMG engraved here and since we have no night package these are finished in chrome which look really nice so on the right side as you can see also diffuser here really love these looking sporty then we have the exhaust tips on the right side AMG engraved really love that so how do you guys like this rear just comment down below so before we finish it off and move on to the interior I'm going to show you the key of this beautiful jelly coupe which is my most favorite one here we have the beautiful full black Mercedes AMG key you have the AMG here the buttons finished in black piano the key fob is in kind of black matte design really love that unfortunately no AMG a Falterbach badge which would have given this key in cooler touch in my opinion but still this looks so beautiful definitely so now let's move on and let me show you the interior of this beautiful GLE coupe so now we will be starting with the interior here but before we do that I will be showing you the door panels as you can already see beautiful leather trim here with the uh, dark gray stitching really love that in addition with this carbon fiber trim beautiful memory seat settings here where you can just move this seat and adjust it as you want it and we have the heating the cooling the beautiful Boormesser sound system speaker the cover just looks so beautiful and the sound is the best and you have the buttons here for the windows etc all finished in silver which i really like instead of these plastic parts and now let's continue with the interior here we have the amg entrance board uh, which is illuminated the mercedes amg floor mats here and the beautiful steering wheel this is not the latest mercedes amg steering wheel but if you haven't seen the latest mercedes amg and the new mercedes amg steering wheel then go and check out my latest video about the all new steering wheel now so let's continue here you can already see we have the big displays here beautiful full dash carbon fiber just let's hop inside and let me show you more about that present start so we have the ambient lining and some music turning on so let's start here with the new steering wheel um, as you can see beautiful steering wheel finished in leather and alcantara uh, full black stitching black leather also the alcantara with black leather then we have flat bottom AMG steering wheel. Here we have the AMG engraved, the AMG specific steering wheel frame. Then we have the AMG specific steering wheel buttons also. And this, something I really love, the leather trim airbag cover. Something I don't like about the latest Mercedes models is that you always get this cheap plastic uh, airbag cover but here it's finished in leather with the black stitching which looks way more elegant uh, and fits more to this expensive car than a plastic cover then we have the uh, amg specific shift pedals here up and down engraved let me just start the ignition here so here we have the steering wheel buttons uh, really love these you can just turn them as you want them to be really love like you have several options here with the GLE uh, 53 coupe. We have sand, then we have trail, then we have the slippery individual, comfort, sport, and sport plus. For the 63S, 
you would also have rays here. And if you press here, it will always redirect you to individual. Let me show you. There we go. But we will switch it to comfort now, or let's go with sport. As you can already see, if you choose comfort, it automatically turns off the AMG Dynamics and puts it into comfort. Also turns off the uh, exhaust, which you can also control over here. You can just turn it on by pushing. But if you want to change to, I don't know, SP of etc. Suspension all, you can just tap here. Also on up, but same. And you can literally control everything on your steering wheel, which is really nice. You can control the left hand display with this touchpad, as you can see. You can also change the style of the display. You can also operate with the head up display. You can change the style of the head up display, the brightness, etc., or the height of it, uh, which I also really love. So, so you don't need to be tapping while driving. You can just use the touchpad here on the right side. You can also control volume, etc. Uh, while uh, calling anyone, you can also control it over here. On the left-hand side, you can control the cruise control or uh, the functions on the left-hand display, etc. And um, as you can already see, we have the full dash here finished in carbon fiber which i really love looks so sporty and as you can see you have it running through the whole interior in addition with the beautiful ambient lighting here also on the suv kind of grips here which i really love give this car an even more suv characteristic also illuminated here with the beautiful ambient lighting then you have the handrest here uh, the touch display and uh, here you have the storage compartment, which is a kind of roll catch here. You can open and close. Unfortunately, finished in piano black. So let me show you something. As all of you know, uh, piano gets dirty very fast. As you can already see the hand and fingerprints or any kind of dust particles for that. Always take a microfiber cloth with you. You can already see, just give it a few seconds, wiping it all away. There we go. So always have one with you. It's so essential. I always say it. And something I missed to tell you is that we have uh, the cup holders here, but these ones are for cooling your drinks or for heating them, which is really nice. Super comfortable, just leaving your drinks in here. Also, we have the wireless charging here. You have space everywhere on the on the doors, on the sides, inside here, inside there, in this compartment, like literally every, everywhere. Something essential missing for me is the sunglass compartment and the panorama roof. Unfortunately, we don't have it here. Uh, so if you get one, I really recommend you all guys, get yourself the panorama roof. It adds more summer feeling, kind of convertible feeling to your car. And it's really missing here. But instead of that, we have the Dynamica roof option here which is also sporty uh, and looks uh, very nice but uh, i would definitely prefer the panorama so let's finish it off with the seats as you can see very beautiful and comfortable seats basically these are massage seats heated and cooled seats um, with the amg badge here finished in full leather trim black stitching and the dynamica also here also known as alcantara so that's it basically from the interior. How do you guys like the, the front row interior space here? Is there anything you don't like? Just comment down below, really curious about that. Just look how cool it looks. Lower it down. This looks so nice. So now we will be demonstrating you the sound of this GLE 53. As you know, uh, we have the performance exhaust uh, system here. We will be starting with Comfort, then Sport, and afterwards Sport Plus. So let's go. So now let's switch to Sport. Now let's finish it off with Sports Plus. Wow. Nice. 
super nice. As you can already see, there's a big difference between Comfort and Sport Plus due to the performance exhaust here. Really love that. I will also demonstrate you the sound while driving and an autobahn run, race start, etc. in a separate video. But now that's it basically for the video. We will be doing the resume now. So that's it basically for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed watching. As a resume, I can say this car is totally different compared to the non-AMG GLE 400 I had a few weeks ago. The exterior is totally different. The driving is totally different. It handles much sportier, etc. But what do you say when I tell you that this car almost looks like a 63? Would you want the GLE 53 to look like the GLE 63? Or do you think that AMG should develop an own 53 identity, an own grill, new rims, etc.? Just comment that down below. I'm really curious how you think about that topic. Also, if you want to see a part two with the GLE 53, some driving, autobahn run, race starts, etc. Just subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that. Uh, already looking forward to see you again and wish you a great day. Goodbye.